hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi my name is Ope and in today's video we're going to be doing something which is very essential for healthy and long hair and that is trimming trust me i know that saying trimming your hair is essential for long hair and healthy hair it sounds weird but i promise it really is and in this video i'll be showing you how and why probably asking yourself why is trimming essential if you're experiencing tangled hair breakage or hair loss your hairstyles are not turning out right and your hair does not look its best then you are probably in need of a trim now just to be clear i am not asking you to cut off your hair i'm telling you to trim the bad parts it's hair you don't need anyway you are not going to lose as much as you think and in all honesty in the long run it's actually very very I personally know when it's time to trim my hair when my ends look like this. They are frizzy and weak and my ends look rough while they are in twists. When you don't trim your ends, you end up with split ends, knots, tangles and you end up losing hair. So if you do not trim your split ends, you eat up through your hair strand and your hair strand ends up having more knots and then you end up losing more hair. So trimming your hair actually helps you grow your hair properly because once you are combing through tangles you are losing hair and once you have knots you are losing hair so for this method i will be showing you of how to trim your own hair you'd be needing hair shares i got this from jumia if you'd like to buy yours i'll be leaving a link down below where you can get yours next i'll be using a wide tooth comb a detangling brush and a fine tooth comb I'd also be needing some water in a spray bottle to spritz my hair and hair bands to hold my hair. I start by spritzing my whole hair just because I want to make sure my hair is damp, not wet but damp because I will be detangling my hair and because of the knots and the tangles, I'll just much rather detangle it with wet hair. So while I was washing, I paid attention to sectioning my hair in such a way where I had small sections that I would like to work on because I would rather do this in small sections and you'll see why as we go along. So first I take my white tooth comb and using this method I'll be going from wide to thin. So I'll be using my white tooth comb, then my detangler, then my fine tooth comb. As you can see here that's a lot of resistance and i know that that's the part that needs trimming so these are what my ends look like i don't know if you can see how they thin out at the end but that's the part that needs to go that's the unhealthy part and that's the part that's just going to cause me more loss and more breakage for the method which i am going to use i will start by twisting down my hair and you will see why as we go on but i just want to say that this is the safest way i know and the safest way i have tried and that's why this is my favored method so once i am done twisting that section i feel down my hair with my thumb and my index finger and i look for the part which is thinned out and that is the part that needs to be snipped or trimmed It is extremely important that you use hair shears and not scissors because hair shears are for hair obviously and scissors are not. You could end up causing more damage to your hair with the scissors. Word of warning, I think it's very important that you know you should not use your shears for any other thing apart from your hair. Once I am sure that that's the thing that part, I trim it off. Please, please be careful with the scissors. As you can see there's a notable difference just to make sure i got off all the split ends and bad ends i make sure to go through the process again So I just want to show you the difference between the trimmed and untrimmed ends. I 
honestly cannot pretend like I was sad about cutting this hair off. I want my twist back. I'm just going to be showing you the other method which I know and explain to you why I would rather do the previous method. So basically you detangle your hair like so and then you take your two fingers and make sure it is above the knuckles and you just run it down your hair until you get to the part that of course things out. Once you have it, you snip. So as you can see there's still a little bit of the hair left and I just had to do it again. So this is the part I took from the first cut and that was from the second. So that's how I trim my hair. My ends have improved greatly and I did not lose that much hair as you can see. And today's question of the day is, do you trim your hair? If yes, how often do you trim? Let me know down in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, comment, like and definitely click the notification button. Bye. <laughs>